Hi, my name is Bastian from Shonko Music and I want to show you in this video how I use my Yamaha samplers to push my audio signal when I want to record that on other gear. So if you are a hardware friend or interested in stuff like that, now I want to show you how I'm doing this. So what you hear is a dry monitor signal. I'm going out from my iPad into the Yamaha sampler. You have three real-time effect slots here, one, two, three, and I'm using a compressor, an equalizer, and an enhancer. These are now bypassed. I will change the drum loop and I will stop talking. So you can hear the difference. I will activate and then deactivate the compressor and then the compressor with the equalizer and enhancer. And then I try to show you, I activate all instantly and deactivate all, but it's old gear. You will see and hear it. It's not instant, so you have a little delay, but that's absolutely fine. The sound quality is very good in my ears, but um, yeah, I think you can listen to this right now. Be careful, I raise up the volume and I give a nice push to the audio signal, it gets much louder. So I change now the drum loop, stop talking, raise up a little bit the volume and then I show you the compressor, equalizer and enhancer. So in my ears you can hear a big difference and it's a very very good sound quality in my ears. So I'm recording that on other gear but if you are interested in stuff like that and you have fun to play and some Yamaha samplers are special because they have their own sample format and to copy and share that it's not easy, it's complicated. But if you want to use it on an easy way, you can push your audio signal. So I will reduce you the volume, but you will hear the effect also, because I need now to activate them again. And what you see here now are the effect slots. You have a full or a favorite menu. On the favorite you see the most important parameters you can change or you go into the full edit menu. So this is the effect slot one, it's a compressor, you have a threshold, attack, release, ratio and output level, the three band equalizer, low frequency, low gain, mid frequency, mid gain, mid width, high frequency, high gain, input mode is your stereo, and on the last one, on the enhancer, you have the HPF cutoff frequency, a drive and a mix level. So that's the way I also use the Yamaha sampler for my audio signals. So sometimes you can get them on the used market for maybe a good price. So I changed the display. It looks beautiful in blue. I like that a lot. And yes, this is a little tutorial about my Yamaha F5000 sampler. 
only for the compressor equalizer and enhance it and also reverb and delay and stuff like that maybe i will do a different video about that so thanks for watching have a nice day and maybe we see us soon i say for now say bye bye